Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we are in the final week of CSI NET exam. The exam is roughly around a week away from now. And there are some things, there are certain things which actually you should avoid doing in order to score good marks in the exam. And these can give you good confidence to face the exam, to perform well in the exam. And that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to talk about five such things which you should avoid doing for the next one week of your CSI NET exam. All right. So that's what this video is going to be. So watch this video till end and avoid these five mistakes till your CSI NET exam comes. Okay, so the first thing which you have to avoid is please don't waste your time. I have discussed about this in my previous video as well, where I have discussed that why exactly you are not willing to study or why exactly you are not willing to, you know, uh, uh, read or to do revision. So what, whatever is required for your exam, you are not willing to do that. And that's because you are wasting your time in some other things or some other stuff. So please avoid that. Don't waste these time. These days are very, very crucial, uh, like after the exam when the exam will happen you are yourself going to see that whatever you have studied in these last days they are going to last for the longer time or uh, you will remember them for the longer time compared to what you have done for so long so these are like you can say that this is the time where you have to accelerate yourself you have to accelerate your preparation whatever pace you were studying till now you have to now accelerate in the last few days okay so that is the first point that please don't waste your time Wasting time can be in any way, it can be on your social media, it can be using your excessive using of mobile phone, uh, it can be like uh, uh, talking to your friends or gossiping or anything, okay, whatever you are doing apart from your studies, these things are going to be and you know yourself that these are going to waste your time. So please, please avoid that for the next few days, be like a monk, just focus on your studies, your study material, your uh, books, your notes, whatever you have you and those are going to be your best friend okay so you have to avoid whatever is going to come apart from these things so please avoid that please avoid those things and please be focused and don't waste the time that's the first thing which you have to avoid for sure all right so the second thing is regarding the test series you must have given uh, mostly people do test series before the exam comes to test themselves that how much they have prepared and there are two scenarios either they become overconfident with the result or they become underconfident with the result now let me talk about the first that is becoming underconfident so if you are not scoring good in the test series you might feel that i have not studied enough and that's why i'm not getting good marks but you have to understand this that sometimes in the test series uh, they are made in such way that uh, like uh, they are like there are questions which uh, those test series those who have made those test series they themselves put so that it becomes challenging to solve those questions just to increase the level of their test series or just to make the test series unpredictable there are questions which are been in implemented over there which are not actually from the CSI net exam of course CSI net exam is going to be actual thing and nobody can replicate it because so many like professors and uh, so many scientists are over there who make like who are there in building up the question papers and all so that level can nobody can match okay so whatever test series or whatever mock test you are giving online offline anywhere it is never going to match the exact level it can be either higher than that or lower than that so if you are under scoring in the mock test just consider it but don't get under uh, confident because of that that uh, i am getting less marks in the test series i won't be able to do in the exam it's not like that because exam is a different scene or exam is a different condition and test series is a, is a different condition so don't become underconfident with low marks in test series but yeah with the test series you will be able to see that whether you are whether you are able to manage time or not uh, whether uh, there is certain co type of question which you were about like you, which you know but you are not able to do an exam so those things are there to work upon because these are exam pressure kind of things or uh, time management things. So these things you have to work upon from the test series, but mere from the total marks, you don't have to judge yourself. Okay. So don't become underconfident because of that. And then if you are scoring good marks, let's say you are give, giving a test series of 200 marks and you are scoring in the full length test series, let's say you are scoring 130, 120 then don't become overconfident of it. You might think, okay, now I know everything, okay, but that's not the case. Again, I'm telling you that these test series are not the actual exam. They are either uh, like they are either uh, more uh, difficult than the, uh, than the actual exam or they are less difficult than the actual exam. They are not of the same level. So 
it might be possible that the questions which were there in the test series were easy for you you were uh, you have already done those questions or you were aware about those questions that's why you were able to do but in the net exam those three hours and the question paper which you are going to get that is going to define it the exact score so don't become over confident and uh, you know when we become over confident we start doing mistakes over there itself we like start losing our time we uh, we think that okay we have already studied this thing so let's skip that chapter don't do that okay stick to your uh, your revision and preparation strategy the way you were don't become over confident with the score whatever you get okay so be subtle just as i said that the mock test or the test series whatever you are giving use it for two major things one is for the time management thing and the second thing is to see that whether a particular chapter which you have studied and the questions which similar questions are asked in cs net exam but still you are not able to do whether you are not able to implement uh, formula in those questions or whether you are not able to identify that which reaction mechanism is there or uh, the the concept behind it was so simple but still it did not strike your mind so those things are there which are alarming which you have to actually point out okay score you don't have to consider them uh, test series is mere there just for giving you a uh, a uh, trial of the exam just like that okay it's not actual exam so that's what you have to consider so this is the second thing which you have to take care of and you have to avoid being over confident and you have to also avoid being under confident if you are giving test series the third thing which majority of people do is reading new concept trying to study more and more and more uh, even though the exam is so near they they keep on reading from the books they keep on reading from others notes they want to watch new videos new concepts let's say you have never studied a particular concept let it be anything okay it can be anything but i am not going to take a name of a topic because then again that will strike that oh whether i have studied it or not so i am not going to take name of any topic but yeah let's say there is a particular topic xyz which you have not studied but your friend told you or you got to know about that topic that okay this topic is also there but are you going to master that topic in the next few days if it is a small topic you can watch that or you can if there is a youtube video of it you can watch that because youtube videos are not more than 20 30 minutes and that is going to give you the information about that topic but don't go in books and don't go in detail of that topic because that topic whether it is going to come or not nobody knows okay so don't invest your time as i said in the first point itself that your time is very precious don't invest that time in something totally new to you okay uh, try to stick to your program try to stick to your schedule try to stick to whatever strategy you have made for your exam and that is going to be enough for you okay keep revising whatever you have done not uh like uh, trying to go for something new in that so avoid uh, going for new concept avoid going for something out of the box let's say you are preparing organic and inorganic or let's say some topics of physical but somebody told you oh, there is a topic from quantum chemistry which is very important then don't go and start studying that quantum chemistry in detail okay because now are the days which you cannot do or we cannot master that topic if there is a video on youtube you can watch that but don't uh, try to get into detail of it okay so avoid taking some new concept before the like within these days of your exam okay the next point comes that don't do over revision now over revision means that there are certain topics which are not having that much weight that much weightage for example uh, let's say the topic of uh, nuclear chemistry it's a small topic but still people invest a lot of time on it to revise and that at, at the end you are only going to get one question or two from that topic okay so and excessive revision of a particular topic you have to just invest the time because i already said you that the time is very precious divide that time according to the weightage of topic a, a topic which is higher in weightage try to invest more time on that and if topic is of lower weightage or less marks uh, is there for that particular topic invest less time for that okay so that's how you have to manage revision and now you have to solve lot of questions also so you don't have to invest all the time in revision itself uh, you have to invest time in solving questions as well because that is where you are going to get the gist of the exam okay that how the questions are being put from a particular topic many people know a concept let's say john taylor distortion everybody understands that what john taylor distortion is but when the question is been put up the question is going to be in a twisted manner or they are going to include john taylor distortion with some uh, uh, with some exceptional case of coordination chemistry so there is where you are actually going to be tested okay whether you know john taylor distortion is not it is not like that is not going to help you in exam whether you are able to solve that question or not that is going to exactly make the difference so for the exam you don't only have to revise and you have to like 
do excessive revision of it you also have to invest time in solving questions okay so try to manage the time in such a way that you don't do excessive revision of such topics which are having less weightage try to divide your revision time in the weightage wise so higher weightage topics give more time to them lower weightage topics try to avoid or try to give less time to those topics okay the last point is very obvious and that is something which uh, i will personally suggest you not to do okay that is avoid asking your friends that which topics they have studied how much they have studied how much hours they are studying uh, what part or or how much portion of syllabus they have uh, covered okay because in this way there will be two scenarios either your friend will lie to you and he will say that i am not studying much i am not getting time much i have just studied uh, this much chapters only i have just studied two three chapters only i am so much tensed and all those negative things he are he is going to put in your mind and in that case you will become overconfident and you will think okay my friend has not even studied this topic or like he is also not uh, willing to study so i am also not like i am also not thinking of studying so it's fine not to uh, you know uh, to be in that scene so that will be just act, going to act negative to you and it can also happen that your friend is going to tell you so many things that okay i have studied this 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 oh you have not studied this topic this is so important i have already covered this in that case that is going to hit you and after whenever you are going to cut the call or whenever you are going to stop your conversation your mind will keep on thinking about that topic that oh that topic he has studied or he or she has studied and i have not studied it i have to study and then instead of uh, giving that time to your strategy you are now going to work according to his strategy and now you are going to read the new topic and again you are going to waste your time so everything comes over here to the time management that the last one week or the last few days of the exam are very crucial you have to you have to manage the time in such a way that you don't waste them at all okay and uh, asking or talking to your friends regarding the syllabus completion uh, regarding topics which they have covered or how much time they are pre uh, giving to their preparation if let's say your friend says that okay i have i'm just a uh, giving one hour to my studies i'm not able to give time uh, i don't know how my time passes by by looking into my phone and so on these are very common things which people will tell you and you will believe them and you will think okay if that person is also giving one hour i can also like if i am studying for two hours that is enough for me right but it's not in actual your friend is studying for four hours so you should avoid this doing this i'm not telling for everyone it's not that everyone does that but yeah these things happen uh, we have been through these days that's why i just i recall all those things and that's why i'm telling you these things happens and that's why i'm sharing with you so avoid talking to your friends you can either uh, get demotivated or you can demotivate your friend by telling that oh you have not studied that topic i have studied it so your friend might get demotivated so if you are a good friend you should not demotivate your friend and uh, you should not good get demotivated yourself by talking about all these things yeah whenever you are talking to your friend talk about things uh, apart from exam okay and just don't talk much because both of your time are very important so talk to them after the exam happens okay so that is the best thing that you can do so just as i said be like a monk be focused on your preparation whatever you are studying just be focused on that and just you your notes your books your uh, short notes your revision notes your uh, uh, question banks whatever you have made are going to be the friends of you for the next few days avoid talking to your friends and avoid uh, you know wasting the time in all those things so these were five things which people generally do these are obvious things but still i just wanted to make them uh, in a video so that if you are doing these things please avoid that okay and if you were doing anything of these please let me know in the comment section below that yes you were doing that particular thing and from now from today onwards you have to avoid that and now you have to prepare for the exam itself okay so be focused and prepare for the exam well all the best for the next few days of your preparation give your best shot and now accelerate whatever pace you were preparing for it now accelerate that pace and give the best shot of yours that's all from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes 
which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much